Welcome out. What's up guys? I've missed you. I'm sure you've missed me. Today we're doing a tutorial about how you can design a t-shirt and procreate right now. You have the ability to do this. I'm gonna work with you. We're gonna work together. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a great time and I'm stoked for this. First thing, you gotta have an iPad. You gotta have a saucy little Apple pencil. They work like a dream together but specifically together. And you gotta have Procreate. We're gonna hop right in. Boom, hit that Procreate app, get right in there. I am gonna make a new document. It is gonna, and this is kind of my standard size that I use. It's just three, four, five, six <laughs> uh, by five, one, eight, four pixels. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very large document. I do that because I want the, uh, I want all my brushes and I want the design to just be as crisp and savory as possible. So here we go, I'm gonna slap that bad boy. Boom, we got a brand new spanking beautiful document. This t-shirt design, I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, it's Halloween season currently. Uh, we gotta do a skull. You know, we gotta do a skull, maybe a dagger. I got all these daggers floating around next to me so you kinda gotta do that. Uh, and we're gonna just piece them together. And I think it's gonna be really sick. I wanna do this design on a black shirt. So first things first, I'm gonna give us a black background. Gonna jump on over here, just slap a little black color on there. That's freaking sick. Uh, and, and so I'm gonna design it in white. Let me also grab white. And we got, we got a little pencil, that should be good. I went on Google earlier, I looked up some skull references because this is kind of the point of, of this video is I want you to feel like you can start designing a t-shirt today. Even if you're not the greatest artist ever, maybe this is your first time opening Procreate and uh, starting to draw. I want you, you to be able to jump into this and feel like, yo, it's, you're, you're capable of doing this. So, found some references. Let's go and hit a little uh, wrench tool and we're gonna insert a photo. So I'm just gonna crop this down how I crop and, and procreate is I just uh, pull it down to the edge and then turn it on and off. I use a little arrow guy and scale this up to the size that I kind of want it to be. And that's that seems like a good size. I might even just straight squeeze it a little bit because I want it a little more narrow. And I dig it. I dig that skull. And I'm gonna slap him right in the middle. Go over to its layer, hit the little N, and uh, it gives you the ability, whoa, gives you the ability to uh, change the opacity. You mess with blend modes as well, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull the opacity down. And I'm gonna create a new layer. And I'm just gonna kinda start tracing out this skull, kinda creating uh, my own version of this skull. So I'm just gonna jump in, let's do it. I traced out the skull a little bit and I filled it all in with color and I'm actually going to go and drop the opacity of this layer now so I can still see some of the framework of that original skull. I don't want this skull to look exactly like uh, the, the skull in the image. You know, I want to make it unique in my own. And so that's what I'm going to kind of go do. I'm actually going to jump over to the eraser tool. Uh, and I'm gonna start drawing with this eraser tool and start filling in little like shadow areas, little highlight areas, just little edges, giving this thing some detail. Just 
straight turn off that bottom layer. And I think I dig that. That looks like a pretty cool looking skull. Let's start working on the dagger of the design. I want this dagger to be stabbing through the center of the skull. Um, and so, like I did with the skull, I'm gonna go grab uh, some references. And these ones, uh, I really just wanna look at the hilt on them and just get some inspiration from them. I'm just gonna throw these off to the side. Um, just as kind of a reference that, whoa, uh, that I can look at and just kind of gain some inspiration from. These ones I'm not gonna trace or anything uh, because um, I wanna show you guys a really useful and cool trick in Procreate. I'm gonna actually just straight turn off this skull layer for now. Um, and I made a new layer. I'm gonna go up and hit my little wrench and go to my canvas. And we're going to drawing guide and edit drawing guide. You're gonna see over here, there's this tool called symmetry. And uh, we have assisted drawing turned on. Um, set the little color of it. And this tool is so cool, so useful. So pretty much whatever I draw on one side, it's gonna mirror that on the other side. And that's gonna make it super, super useful for drawing things like daggers or anything that you want to be perfectly symmetrical. Uh, and, dude, you, can just, you only have to draw half the design, so it's great. I may actually pull that skull back. Uh, maybe let's just duplicate it real quick and uh, drop the opacity. I just wanna like, let's see the sizing of how I want this dagger exactly. So hop back over to my assisted layer and I'm gonna just draw this blade. And as you can see, it's just going straight down. Another tip in Procreate, if you draw a line and then hold it, it'll snap. If you put your finger on the screen, it'll actually snap to like 45 degrees, I believe. Oh no. Uh, so, there we go. I think that might be all right. And I'm just gonna move this exactly to how I want it. Make sure it stays right in the middle. And we're just gonna start piecing this dagger together, making it look sick. part of the dagger is you just start filling in however you want uh, the the little uh, hilt and or handle section you just draw little balls little shapes and then kind of keep stacking until they create a nice little handle out the dagger with the symmetry tool. Uh, I think it looks not bad. It looks kind of cool. It looks like a dagger, but we're gonna actually now go in and turn off drawing assist. You, that, you just get to that menu by tapping that uh, little icon. We're going to bring the opacity back up this, of the skull, and I want this dagger to just be stabbing straight through that. I actually might stretch out the dagger a little bit. I don't think it's gonna ruin the design at all. And on this skull, I want the dagger to be like stabbing through the skull. There we go. And it's gonna be like coming up from the bottom. And so I, now I'm gonna hop over to my dagger layer and I'm just gonna erase, just kind of follow along where the skull overlaps with the dagger. I say we could probably merge these to get eyes together. How we're gonna do that is just pinch them together, and now they're on the same layer as a uniformed family. 
kind of add some extra, you know, lines and accents to, to these things, just to keep giving things more life. The more lines you add, the more life your design has. Um, that's an ancient proverb. I also want to just add a little more life to it by maybe throwing some plants in. You can see with like these tattoos, they got like all these little foliages hanging around them. So probably just gonna start drawing some plants. All right, cool. We got some foliage, we got a dagger, we got a skull. It's all looking unique, original. I really like how this design's coming out. Texture, texture people, that's what this thing needs. So, lo and behold, I'm gonna go to my halftone texture pack. I'm just gonna pepper them just about the design and just make it look sick, you know? Now all this design needs is some letters. I recently made a font uh, that's pretty slick, pretty sick. It's called Hot Gold. And I'm gonna use that on this thing. So to use a font, uh, hit the little wrench boy, hit add, and then add text. Mm -hmm. I like the design. I think it's sick. Let's throw it on a mock-up though, right? I feel like that's the final process of this whole thing. We are going to insert a photo. Oh shoot, I came prepared and I got two screenshots from our wholesale site. Look at that. You got a sick mock-up, you can send that thing to a client. We got a dope, fresh, crispy, savory, beautiful, wonderful, amazing t-shirt design that you and I together designed in Procreate today. It happened, people. I hope you learned something. I, I'm not the best artist that's ever existed. Grabbing elements, finding things that inspire you, replicating them and making them unique to your own your own taste and flavor that's what this whole thing's about all that to be said we'll see you there